What's up, Wolfpack fam? It's your boy Kid back at it again. Hope everyone is doing well. Continue that Max and Patty's Road to Nowhere journey with episode five. Uh, how about we just dive right into it, guys? Let's get it. Snacks not included. Get it. <clears throat> Max and Patty's Road to Nowhere, sponsored by Chorley FM, where the listener comes first. Paddy's hungry. Yeah, I could do with a bit of something. I'm ravishing. We're no tin back. We've yet to do a big shot, my friend. The cupboard is burr. Why don't we get in one of these country pubs, get a bit of dinny donny din dons? They've got some beautiful eateries out here. Nice carvery. Beautiful. Nice, thick, juicy steak like Solia Shoe. Did they ever tell you about that mixed grill I had once out in countryside? No. Oh. Oh, listen to this. The plates weren't round, they were oval. Food were that wide and that high. And what were on it? What weren't on it? Steak, liver, beef, oh. kidney, liver, chops, pork, liver, a terrina chips, and Jesus. two counts of two fried eggs. 350, the lot. I tell you, Max, that's one thing I could never be, a vegetarian. Man can't live by chips alone. I tell you what's worse than being a vegetarian. Being a Mekon. Being a what? A Mekon. I'm telling you, them lads can't eat nothing. A vegan, you tool. Ah, <laughs> that's it, yeah, yeah. No, no, Paddy loves his meat. Call me old-fashioned, but what I like is white, tender, off-the-bone chicken. What's yours? Co! You are. Co! Burgers, baby. <laughs> Don't know where we're going, got no way of knowing. Driving on the roads of nowhere. Spongy for a living, checking out the women. Riding on the roads of nowhere. And we don't take shit from anyone. The only thing we want to do is have some fun. We're Max and Party, Harry and Max. And best of all, we don't pay council tax. Is it dead? Either that or it's going to piss it down. Just come out of nowhere. Where are we? I mean, what sort of place is this where animal is king? Tell me about it. Look at the state of the bumper. It'll belong to one of these arsehole farmers. They'll let them do what they want. Here, let me shift it. Come on. Whoa, whoa, grab its hooves. Not its tits. You'll be covered in milk, man. Freak. <laughs> Cows playing chicken. What next? I tell you, they loaded these farmers, you know. We'll have him for this. Every penny. Look at all land he's got. I saw a case like this on Judge Judy. Couple, they cleaned up, and that's before whiplash. How is your neck? Agony. Agony? Agony, yes. No answer? No. He'll be inside. Counting his money! Yeah, he should be out teaching his cows road safety. That's what he should be doing. Come on. He's here. Oh, hi there! Hey, yo! Hello there! Lovely day, isn't it? It was. You come to mend the barn roof? No, my friend here's just knocked one of your cows down. He what? Just came out of nowhere, mate. Didn't stand a chance. Oh, not again. Which one was it? Black and white one. Big head. Is it hurt? No. It's dead. Oh, God! Are you all right? A motorhome's not. It's a right mess. Smashed headlamp bumper, the lot. They're always getting out. I keep telling them, but they won't listen. They? You want to try putting some fences up, Flower? Fences cost money, boys. So do headlamps and bumpers, cock. We had all new fences round here. But what with the winter we had, they all got ruined. No money to replace them with. Then we got the foot and mouth that wiped us out, that did. Here we go, sob story. All this was fields at one time. Scrubland. But my dad worked on it till his fingers bled in the summer of 69. 
Shocking. Hey, <laughs> Luke, Jack and Ori, you're going to have me crying my eyes out over here. What about our bumper and a red light? What about them? They want fixing. Who's going to pay for it? You know what I'm saying? If you come looking for money, boys, you come to the wrong place here. I ain't got nothing here. You must have something. You're a farm. All I've got left is the old girl. Hey, whoa, we don't want your wife. We're not swingers. No. <laughs> no. Oh, no, not my wife. She's gone too. Dead three years this spring. Got knocked down by a combine harvester. She's buried over there. And over there. And just over there. What the freak? Rest in pieces. No, yeah. no, no, no. I'm talking about this old girl here. She's the only thing I got left of any value now. A pig? As compensation? I've heard it all now. Where there's blame, there's a pig. And what are we supposed to do with it? You could sell it. So hang on. Come here. Piglet. It's not a bad idea, what do you reckon? I smell bullshit, and it's not the pig. Do you know how much pigs are worth? Do you? Well, I know they're worth more than a bent bumper and a smashed headlight. We could make on this. You think? Yeah. Where are we going to sell it? Cattle market. Crabbock. 40 mile that way. As for Big Bill Ingalls, he'll do you a great deal. Suppose we were to take the pig. How much would it be worth? Hmm. A Welsh white. She's gotten. 60? 70? I'd say 300. 300 quid? I think this little pig is going to market. Too right. <laughs> Have you got some sort of a vehicle to get the pig to market? No. I was supposed to shift it then. What's the matter with that thing? Ah, oh, yeah, fair enough. That, my friend, is our home. It'll be right. Whack a bit of polythene down, you'll never know. Man. I don't want to shit and pissing all over our home. <laughs> Make sure all that poor thing's down in there, you. I am. Stop mourning. Don't worry, pigs are the cleanest of animals. They live in a sty. Hence the term pig sty. Go straight on through the village. Yeah. Past the Dutchy Pond, the left hand side. Dutchy Pond. Dutchy Pond. And you'll see a little white church. Little white church. White church. A lot of smiling here. And? Ignore it. Ignore it? Go straight on and the market's right in front of you. Right on. OK. Pig on board. Pig on board, yeah. Pigs on board. Pigs on board. Yeah, pigs on board. Yeah, it's there. And you're on your way. We're on our way. I'd be lost. Let then. go. Let go now. First friend. He is not playing with a full deck, Patrick, that fella. I can't believe you give him £100 for that pig. You've got to speculate to accumulate. Trust me. Yeah, but uh, 100 of the Queen's English pounds. We'll be quids in when we get to market. I'm still wondering what he was doing with that scarecrow because he was touching a, partic uh, a, a particular part. Is she all right back there? She's all right. She's not eating me good fleeks, is she? Heidi, Heidi! <laughs> Do you really think we'll get 300 quid for her? Oh, aye. Yeah, they're worth the weight in gold, these things. Have you never heard the term piggy bank? Where do you think that comes from? A piggy bank. You know, you can use every bit of a pig, you know. They're not just for eggs and bacon. Everything. Snooter to tooter. There's no wastage. No. Even its flute gets used. Its flute? It's... Yeah, it's flute. You know, it's pork sword. It's, um Cock. Ah, man. <laughs> yeah. What for? Dog chews. Really? Straight up. That's the last time I let a dog lick my face. Holy fools and horses, boys. Its eyes, you can eat its eyes. They're a delicacy in Iran. Tapas. 
It's tongue. What? It's tongue. You never had tongue? Plenty. My mum used to give me tongue every week. Regular. They even use pig sperm in the medical profession. Get out of town. Straight up. What for? Babies. You know, bringing them on during labour. Pig sperm? Pig's sperm. <laughs> Won't like the job again in that. Hey, we've not had anything to eat yet, have we? No, I'm starving. Let's get in over here and have a little sneaky snacky snoop. I'm hearing you. Sausage butties? Yeah. <laughs> have you pumped? No, I have not. You have, you dropped your back. I've not. Oh, God, that stinks. I can't smell nothing. I can. Oh. Oh, Jesus, it's the pig. It's the pig. Quick, crack the window. Oh. <laughs> Dirty pig. Oh. Dirty pig. Oh. No wonder you want to get rid of her. She needs raking out. Get it oh. in the back. Quick, before she follows through. Get on there. Get on. Get back. Can't see. Oh. You can't see. My eyes are burning. Take the wheel. Take the wheel. My eyes! <laughs> oh! Oh, good God almighty! Oh, she do some dirt! Uh, hey, you're cleaning that up! You're cleaning that up! How dare you! How dare you! This is our motorised home! We live here! Dirty thing! Something fishy here, guys. Seen a lot of cows. <laughs> Looking for a fella by the name of Big Bill Ingalls. Well, you best start down the cemetery, son. He's been dead four years. He's dead? But we're supposed to be selling this pig. Let's have a look. <laughs> no, there's not much call for breeders here. Not much call for what? What you got there is a breeding pig. A stud pig. And his mating days are over. He... He's a she. Shows how much you know about pigs. Is it? I'll be the first female breeder I ever see. <laughs> Have a look underneath if you don't believe me. <laughs> What's the crack? It ain't got one. It, it's a boy. It's a boy pig. A devious old swine. Who did you get it all? A farmer. Have you got its papers? Its papers? Registration, documentation. It's a pig, not an asylum seeker. What was the name of the farmer? We don't know, we just bought it off him. <laughs> you bought it? <laughs> it's got you been stitched up good and proper, boys. How much do you think we'll get for it? It'll be no good for me, Joe. It's off his old nipples. Yeah. <laughs> 30? 30 quid? Shut off. It's worth 300, that. <laughs> oh, God. Five years ago, maybe. Not now. No, you're all right. We'll leave yeah, it. We'll leave you're all right. right. <laughs> you got screwed. 30 quid, eh? Bit of a come down from 300. Never mind what they say. They're just after a bargain. They take your cream out your coffee, then, men. I say we go back, kick that farmer's head in, and get our money. No, not a chance. We can sell this pig. What has? Retired breeder? And it's a boy? What we need is someone who knows nothing about pigs. Yeah, us. Yeah. No, one of those city blokes, those yuppie types. What do they call them? 
Knobheads. No. Gentlemen farmers. Hooray Henrys. Green wellies and all that. The works, you know. We could sell it to one of them. But it's knackered. Oh, no, it's not. And when we finish with it, they'll think this lad's a pig gigolo. A pigolo. Exactly. That one's a boy scene. Well, it's a lovely 12-acre sprawl, so there's plenty of room. Yeah, yeah. And he's a breeder, you say? A prize breeder. Yeah, he's won awards, and he bangs like a shit house door in a gale. A what? A gale. Really? Uh, uh, where is he now? I'll just get my boy. Boy! I say, boy, lucky. Bring the pig hither. My oh, lucky, this. Steady. This is the fella. What do you think? He looks a bit tired. Tired? You'd look tired if you were on job 24-7. His eyes are glazed over. I'm not surprised. He's been down more holes than Tiger Woods, this lad. <laughs> you don't know whether he's coming or going. Or coming. Exactly. You know what he was doing yesterday? He was next to his field trying to bum a Shetland pony. He took five of us to get him off it. <laughs> well, I happen to have a female round the back who needs to be served. Hey, let's sort the pig out first, my friend. <laughs> I do apologise. Boy, round the back. Take the pig round the back to the gentleman's trailer. Chop, chop. Chop, chop. He doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well, they will do, you know. In a minute, it'll be a big pink blur. Just you watch. Once they get going, they're like rabbits, these things. He's taking his time. It's romance. They're getting to know each other. Have you got your money? I don't know how you treat your women. What he's doing, this is pig foreplay, this. He's, he's smelling her out. Look, maybe he's not right for her. Or happen your pig's a lesbian. He's got a point. He has got... I have read about that. Uh, how much did you say it was again? £300. Quickly. Uh, right, I'll just have to see my man there. Joe! Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! Hey! Let's have two against three hundred pound. <laughs> God damn it! Hey, yeah, lad. That's the fella. What are you feeding him? What oh, scratchings? You can't do that. That's cannibalism. He loves them. You're messing about with evolution, there, Patrick. Stop it, please. What we're we gonna do with him? I don't know. Maybe we could race him. You know one of them country fates? Carnival, lad. Like. Yeah, no luck, man. Check it Why don't we train it to be a sheep pig? You know, like Babe? The Babe? That were a film. It worked, though. They also had singing mice. Yeah, they did, didn't they? <laughs> Bloody hell, I've got it. What? Let's cut out the middle, man. What do you mean? Never mind selling him as a breeder. Let's sell him as meat. Take him to butchers. Those lads know a bargain when they see one. everywhere. The 
There's only one thing for it then. What's that? We'll have to kill it. Oh, shit. We? Yeah, you and me. We'll sell it on the black market, round the car boots. So basically, we've gone from having a £300 prize breeder to selling it off a trestle table on a Sunday morning in a primary school car park. Is that what you're telling me? It's not my fault. OK. Shh. We can't kill it. What do you think the butcher was going to do? Keep it as a pet? Or a couple of doormen? Violence is habitual. Don't tell me you've gone soft. Soft? I'm not the one who's whispering. You've gone soft. How dare you? When you've been pinned down by sniper fire at Goose Green, killing a pig, my friend, is a day at the races. Right, then. Let's do it. OK. Good. Bring it on. Right, then. <laughs> Do it, Try man. again. Yes? What? I don't believe it. Barbara, bloody pig's come back. Where'd you find him? Find him? We've bought him. Bought him? Off who? Bloke who owns this farm. Is he in? I own this farm. Since when? Look, buddy! We knocked a cow down in the road and damaged our motor home in the process. And the bloke who owns this farm sold us this pig as compensation. You know what it's worth? Nothing. Exactly. <laughs> What's this bloke look like? Like like green grass from our beat. Oh, I don't believe it. Barbara, he's at it again. Dad! You're a quiet one, aren't you? <laughs> I like that. Dad! You've been selling our livestock again! That's him! It's her dad. He's wired to the moon. We let him hang around. He's harmless enough. Harmless? We gave him £100 for this pig. Hundred? <laughs> and we want it back. You'll be lucky. Looks like he's already drank it. A bit of a tease, are we? <laughs> I like the struggle. I love the struggle. <laughs> oh! So it was you that killed my cow, was it? <laughs> oh, man, the irony, man. Excuse me, Squire. Uh, you're not still serving food, are you? We're a bit busy tonight. But we can squeeze you in. Take a seat. Thank you very much, thank you. How dare you? How dare you? Number eight! Oh boy. Do you like me to take your order? I've two nut cutlets, please, Flower. Hold up, guys. Oh, jeez. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to switch to full screen, guys. Uh, we'll see you in a second. Welcome back, guys. Um, another solid Max and Patty episode. Uh, what I like about them is that they completely just always seem to get into some really bad scenarios. Uh, and, and this one is no different. You know, killing the this cow, you know, just the way um I get I, I don't know if you can call it a, can we call it a special effect the way the cow jumped up like that shit? It just looked like one of those cartoons or I don't know, uh some 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 Super Mario type shit, uh with the with the Koopas and stuff. But uh, you know, just the way the cow, you know, got ran over, um you know, Patty, man, when you're going to pick up a cow, man, definitely uh, that was an interesting choice of where he selected to use his hands and shit like that. So, uh, you know, Patty always has me tripping there. And, you know, because of this predicament that they got into uh, with this, you know, eventually buying Piglet or, or uh, you know, the babe, um, 
I got they just don't got no luck, man. I, and and I can't help but feel bad for them and, and be laughing at them. Um, they literally tried every place imaginable. They got con. They got screwed out of money. Um, so they paid a hundred. And and that shit that pig isn't worth jack shit. That um guy the um. The initial guy that was thought to be the the farmer of the land, we knew something was up with that guy, man. Because again, I, I don't know if you guys peeped it, but the way he was playing with that scarecrow, just it, it like red flags is going up in my head right there. Because he was particularly uh, focused on a central uh, lower region area there, and that was uh, something funny right there. Um, yeah, I liked I liked the episode. Um, the guy at the end of the day, you know, uh, I was feeling like freaking green, green grass uh, vibes here. A little Farmer Boise action there. That guy ended up wi winning because, you know, he 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 got to get uh, uh, pissed drunk. So he ended up getting extra money and he doesn't even own the farm. So um, we see that the actual guy seemed definitely pissed. Oh, you ran over my cow, huh? Um, uh, you know, so they got, they just, these guys just got bad freaking luck, man. They even went to try to sell it to... Um, Hala, and they don't, from what I understand, if I'm, you know, uh, they don't eat, uh, you know, pork or, or anything like that, you know, um, yeah, one of my homies, uh, yeah, he don't eat pork, so if, if, uh, if I'm wrong, tell me, guys, but I just want to clarify, yeah, that was hilarious that they're trying to sell it there, man, that's why you got the guys chasing uh you know these guys <laughs> anyway and that is like hurry up hurry up you got the door open my man's just trying to get in there quickly but um i'm a little bit disappointed in the fact that we only got one more episode to go boys and girls i hate it man uh you know too short of a series man um is there any reason why it's only one series it's just not green light uh back in the day or they just you know i don't know did like, cause you know, it just feels odd, you know, it's only like six episodes, but, uh, you know, whatever it is, you know, we're going to enjoy it. You can always go back and watch it again on our free time. Cause we definitely like the early episodes. Uh, I still think that the first three, uh, first, excuse me, first four episodes, especially the, uh, uh, when these guys are going to go to prison and stuff were, were some of the better episodes and stuff. Um, I don't think this is the strongest episode out of the series right now, but we'll wait to see uh, the uh, final episode. Um, hopefully we get a chance to get the outtakes. I need to look for them. Um, if you guys can help me find the outtakes, that'd be great. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll just try to find my best and, and we'll try to get the outtakes because we did get a few people who have mentioned, um, to check out the, the outtakes. So I definitely like to do that and hopefully we see some more funny moments, but, um, yeah, you know, these guys just keep getting themselves into a jam, messed up caravan, the works. Uh, so I definitely, um, enjoying the show. So hopefully you guys are getting a good laugh and, uh, we'll see you next time. I don't know. I don't know if I can get that extra that uh the uh the extra the guy that's not a farmer out of my head with what he was doing with the um mannequin uh doll in there he was definitely getting it on so at least he had a good time on this episode uh so we'll see you next time as always thank you so much for checking out the channel um you know and just watching the content on general um uh, if you're new to the channel go check out those playlists we got a lot more things coming um uh, you know we do our best to uh get everyone's suggestions that you know although that is hard sometimes uh we do our best to try to fulfill as many as we can so we'll see you next week uh thank you so much for uh watching and we'll see you soon peace